there are 320 students that take this module and they're in their first weeks of a university experience. They all come from very different backgrounds and very different learning experiences. So tonight's assignment, the students are actually set a challenge over a three week period, a challenge where they have to build a one meter tall paper tower. Well the design challenge is to make a tower uh, one meter high that holds one kg. So our tower we used about 19 sheets of paper. Um, we couldn't use any tape or sellotape like glue or anything like that so we had to fold the paper together using flaps and slits. Yeah I mean we, we did kind of calculations and stuff like that working out what forces will act on what parts. So we have all horizontal and vertical parts to our uh, to our tower. The paper tower is made of cylinders and they're all the same width and height. Well, we were researching a lot of buildings and we thought the Eiffel Tower was a good bit of inspiration for us. It's basically just a series of blocks with a sheet in between each block to hold it up. All engineering students in UCD must take this module. So it teaches them things like Newton's laws of motion, equilibrium, friction, kinematics, Fundamental concepts that all engineering students would have to uh, study and they go on then in subsequent years to build on these concepts. I deliberately take random groups of students so they immediately learn to understand things like group dynamics and engagements in, uh, in report writing and in presentation of material in non-traditional media. I like working as a group. It's good fun getting to know people as well, it's good. No one knew each other before this, but I felt like we worked pretty well together. There were some tough things like trying to meet up, find times, so we have different schedules and stuff. I saw some of the group work, some of the studio work I have enjoyed. But uh, once we got together it was good fun. Um, and coming up with ideas and stuff was good crack, yeah. For our report we have to include the material covered in lectures, so we looked up stuff like the friction coefficient of the floor, we had to do free body diagrams of the weight on top of the tower. A lot of the like report side of things is to do with the maths behind it, so you can't just simply build a tower out of paper and then hope for the best, you have to actually kind of show the reason behind it. Traditionally when this module was taught, we only had lectures and tutorials. Now we need to figure out ways of engaging with students so that they can understand and internalise and visualise the core material. I found that uh, it gives us a good conceptualisation of the 3D working of it, yeah. Because you can, you can put your ideas into perspective. You have a lot of freedom to do what you want really. It's much easier to remember things by doing them and it's kind of a fun thing that you're going to remember. So. Teaching first year engineering students is both challenging and rewarding. It's challenging because not all students would have studied the same subjects before they come to university. I love math. Absolutely love it. In school I liked maths and uh, problem solving. Yeah, I just love maths. Into physics. Yeah, maths, just, physics, yeah. yeah kind of makes sense. But it's also very rewarding because I have the ability and the opportunity to actually engage these students in university education and helping them settle into university life in a large engineering school very quickly. I never understood why you had this thing called a project manager. Now I can see them. Definitely. Can yeah. you see? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah, I can see that now. So mm. Attendance at lectures is very, very high. Typically it's between 95 and 80 or 85 percent. The weaker students who would traditionally have been a failing or having to do resets that proportion of students has diminished significantly. So I'm inspired by the fact that our students always manage to be very imaginative, very innovative and very creative. They come up with designs that always surpass my brief. And working in teams such as this brings out the best in our students.